In this video, we'll be covering how to install Luxart Vehicle Control version 3. On our right here, we'll see the GitHub page for the LVC under my um, user here. Um, of course, this these are all the um, files, source code for it. And I, I know a lot of developers, um, they don't really do releases and people just download this using the screen arrow, but um, don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Um, that would that could potentially give you a an unstable branch something like that so um, we're going to click on the releases here and i'll give a direct link in the download for that um, and that'll pull up our latest releases so it may not be the same version of course this is still a beta um, right now there's probably going to be a couple of commits after that but download the latest stable version so right here it's pre-release you'll want to look for the latest release and that'll that'll provide you with um um, the most stable and tested, um, you know, recent resource. So we'll download the zip folder, just like any other um, any other resource. Bring that over here. So inside um, Luxor Vehicle Control here, we have a few different folders. A lot of which are related to Rage UI. So the R menu, um, menu and components are all going to be for Rage UI. Um, we have HTML, that's going to be for our audio. And then stream and extras are for the HUD textures themselves. So we'll navigate to our FX server folder, as we see here. I can go ahead and um, I'll create a new folder for this. Call Lux, view of control, of course, view. You can name the resource. Um, whatever you would like. Let's we'll go ahead and drag and drop the resource over there. So now we don't need this any longer. So now that we have the resource installed, um, of we still need to worry about textures. So if you stream common menu, the other ones are just for um, Rage UI, but if you uh, stream common menu here in another resource, then we're actually going to need to take this um, common menu file out, so we'll delete that, and we'll add these raw textures for the HUD, as you can see here, into um, that common menu where you're streaming it elsewhere. So, for example, B menu, you have a custom B menu background. You'll need to add um, these files into that V menu stream common menu.ytf, and uh, actually it's YTD, I believe. Let's just verify that. Yep, YTD for the texture dictionary. And then that way you don't have any conflicting stream files, stuff like that. So once you've got that um, taken care of, by default, most people aren't streaming common menu. So you can just leave this here just how it is. Then we can go into our settings and vehicle um, Lua's. So inside our settings, we'll have the ability to change what the default register key mapping is for the menu. By default, it's set to O, uh, but of course you can change that to F9. And I, I, um, I provided some additional links on how register key mapping works here, and then the names of each key, because sometimes you might not be able to figure out, for example, tilde or five, uh, F5, something like that. Additionally, we can set the default lockout key here. For me, it's F9, but I left the default blank for you guys to customize. We can change um, how often the initial reminder is if you have your key lock on and you continue to hit those buttons. Um, you know, the description, uh, the description kind of explains it. It's self-explanatory here. We can change the first state of the HUD. So if you don't have any settings saved locally as an end user, if you set this to true, then the HUD will default to being true um, until you set that state. And then we can set the opacities for the HUD. We can change what our turn signal um, key is, how long you need to hold that down. Um, we can enable and disable some different um, commands here. So this is probably going to change some because um, we don't really use um, this <laughs> anymore, so i got to get that updated. And we can change our volumes here. So once you have that all set up, we'll move to the Vehicles Lula. So Vehicle Lula got a lot of information here. But as it says here in the purpose, associate specific sirens with specific vehicles. So it's siren assignments. So in this table here, I have the siren ID, 
the generic name that I gave it. You, of course, can name it whatever you'd like. Um, the string, the siren string that's used by the game, and then the vehicle.awc name. So this message here basically reads that if you enable additional sirens, for example, 5 through 10, you need to be aware that if you if your um, your end user has not replaced their resident RPF with a custom one or has not added tones into these slots, they will hear the default sounds, which is basically garbage to the ears. So you want to make sure that that you you inform them that you're going to upgrade to Fusion 3, how to do that, and um, that information is going to be provided later. In our tone table, we can change the name that is displayed on each tone on the uh, menu in-game. So for example, if we're using a, a multi-department, we can you know, maybe do a, a CHP wheel, C CHP Yelp, CHP priority, and then you can do, um, I don't know, PD whale, Yelp priority. You can change those names. Um, what you don't really want to do, I mean, you can customize the names here, but you don't really want to move them around. For example, they still associate with these siren tones here for the fire truck siren. So if you were to put something obnoxious in there that you would rarely use, default fire truck driving around the server will still use these. So just be aware of that. If we move down here, this is a basic operation file that's provided by default. It means everything is going to work as it did in version 2. You can install this how it is without any customization. It'll operate how it is. It doesn't have any additional siren tones, um, but it's a nice, easy drag and drop. Now, we won't want to remove our default. This is something that we need to keep on here forever. Um, and this is just in case it's a fallback in case a vehicle doesn't have a table to assign to. If you forgot to put it in here, it'll fall back on the default. But let's go into um, adding a custom car. And let's say our game name, as found in the vehicles at Meta, is Polito1. Polito 1 is what I like to use um, as, a, as a first example. So we'll just type out the game name, and we'll use some open brackets here. Now the first tone is going to be your air horn. So, you know, if you're using a, a one department setup, like a, a type um, A or B, that'll typically be um, one. Um, if you have a two department setup, it could be one or five, maybe, wherever you put that air horn in. So we'll do, um, for Polito 1, let's say we want uh, 1, 3, and 5 to work. Why would you do that? I'm not really sure. That's not really laid out that great. Um, but just for example, so that'll pull out our hair horn here. That'll have the ability to play the Yelp. And then Custom A, which we could rename to um, anything else. And that's basically it. Once you've got your vehicles set up in here, we could go to, let's say, 2, or maybe we want to do uh, a, a Highway Patrol, Highway Patrol 1, and Highway Patrol 2, and they use a different set of sirens. So for example, 5, 6, and 7, um, then we can set that up as well. But you'll need, uh, unless you want it to fall back on the default, you'll have to set one of these up for each vehicle. So I recommend using Notepad. You can just Control D, go back through here, go through each of the uh, vehicle's names, um, and, and set that up to for your liking. So once you do that, you can save it and close out of this, close out of our settings. And we'll go in and I'll add an ensure line into our server um, CFG, as you would any other resource. Um, this is just my development server, so. Um, so once you have that added, you can ensure the um, you can ensure it. Make sure you delete your cache if you had Luxart in previously. Restart your server, and you should see the new Luxart Vehicle Control version three. So I just wanted to interject real quick and um, kind of merge two videos into one. When I made Luxart Vehicle Control, um, you know there was a kind of a concern that sirens are client side, and I didn't want to override that. I feel like that's a bit of individuality, some customization that you have um, in 5M, so I didn't want to change that. And so that requires you as server developers, server staff, to help your members 
um, if you do decide to upgrade to version 3, upgrade their sirens. Because like I said earlier, if you do not change out these five sirens here, you'll hear the default garbage ones, and you don't want to hear that. That's not going to be a good time. So, um, But also, you know, let's jump into the types. I've created another repository called Luxart Vehicle Control Extras, and this is a place for sirens and vehicle lures to be placed. So it's, it's much easier. It's a little bit more seamless. I'm going to provide you with some drag and drop recommendations, um, and that way, you know, a little bit easier for you. But first, let's talk about the types. So we have a type A basic operation. It operates the same as version 2 with no additional siren tones. So if we look back in our vehicle's Lua from the download, um, this is a basic operation, 2, 3, 4. It means you have whale, yelp, priority. You have the siren P, PA, 20A, whale, siren 2, and police warning. Well, everything, you know, everyone knows these tones. And it's going to be a very seamless installation. Um, so you can always do that. I actually recommend that and then provide your members with a, with an upgrade date of when they need to add in additional tones into their resident RPF in order to hear those. We also have type B, which is the maximize LEO tones. So for an example, I pulled up a little guide I made here. So maximizing um, available tones. So here you see IDs 1 through 10. So this is the Touchmaster Delta as an air horn well, yelp has all of these different sirens. Um, ignore 6 through 9. We'll get to that. Um, sweep, you'll, you can see them here. And a fire truck. You know, you still have fire truck ambulance. Um, so you don't want to override those. We'll talk about uh, Type C, which is the two department operation with fire rescue. Half of the tones are assigned to one department, half are assigned to the other while retaining fire rescue. So and this, that means um, we'll still keep our default. We need to have that fallback. PD will use 295. And 295 will be 2345. And then Sheriff will use um, an FS Smart, which is 78910. And then you still have Fire Rescue here. And you can actually have two ambulances for each area to have that corresponding. I mean, you could do the same thing with a fire truck. But if you have two different models or something like that, you can you can assign that there. Example D is going to be a three department operation with a shared uh, air horn and fire rescue. So you need to have the fallback, then you have the 295 for the PD, the FS Smart for the Sheriff's Office, and then the Touchmaster Delta for Highway Patrol. So as you can see, they all share one air horn. That's what the first index here, number one, is. And then you'll see 234, 567, 8, 9, 10. And that gives us just enough tones to have three sirens for each plus uh, a shared air horn. And then you can have three different ambulances if you have three different models um, that have different uh, siren tones for those jurisdictions. The other thing to keep in mind is the resident RPF's max size for the vehicle's AWC. So when we go in to create um, and install custom sirens, we'll do that now, we'll open up OpenIV. They've actually increased the size for limit for um, for the vehicle's AWC, which is nice. So if we go in here, you'll see vehicle's AWC, 15890. So our cap is going to be 16132. So 16 megabytes, 132 kilobytes. Um, anything over that, you'll get a silent um, audio. So ensure that whatever your tones you do install, or smaller than that. It will be kind of a challenge for fire guys. You can take out some of the default audio for subway cars that are not used in 5M um, and a couple of other things. So rely on that. I'm going to provide you know some sirens here that you can use. Um, you always want to ensure that that's not over, over that. So I also provide some examples on how to do this. So shorter tones, of course, will be smaller uh, file sizes. You can reduce the tone quality. You can reduce other ambient sound quality or replace um, ambient sound waves. Um, so things like subway doors, which can save quite a bit. So that basically covers how to create you know, your sirens. Um, some examples for the sirens. I provide you with the raw tones here. So 04 is not used. They're silent. Just drag those, drop those in there. The rest are used, and these are included in GTA 
G default GTA. So, yeah, appreciate that, guys. Anyways, back to the outro.